Live from the abandoned Galaxy News radio station in the downtown sea of battle. This is the number one and only radio station, Radioactive. That's two words, folks. As always, you're listening to the mighty god of the airwaves himself, the electric god, Zeus. Now I know what some of you might be thinking. Well, don't worry, kids. This is just what happens after you have 200 years of smoking. Anyway, after that joke, let's get straight into the news. As always, I'd like to start this broadcast with a friendly reminder of avoiding the Fernmont Bridge. The bridge may look all right at first, but trust me, people start at one side of the bridge, never show up on the other. It could be raiders, it could be gunners, who knows? But until any more news comes my way, find an alternate way across. Uh, let's see what I got for you here. Uh, what else I got? Uh, oh, here we are. If anyone is out by the Traders Hub, Pike Place Market, the merchants have kindly asked me to remind everyone that the lower levels are off limits for your safety. Also, they add, if you hear voices coming from the walls, it's not your imagination. Now, in lighter news, for all you kinky sort out there who like a man in uniform, I've got good news for you. It seems the Brotherhood of Steel have recently moved into the Space Needle. As always, they're as talkative as ever. That's right, this time they told me to keep my nose out of their business. That's six more words than last time. Any more, and I'll keep you posted. So this weekend is the opening night for the Sea of Adel Thespians production of Macbeth. This show will be dedicated to the five poor Macbeths who lost their lives in mysterious circumstances during the making of this production. Entry is 25 caps per person. Kids and seniors get free entry. My question is, does that include ghouls too? And finally, for all you lonely wanderers out there in search of a place to call home, the newly found town of Ox is now open to strangers. So if you feel like this town is for you, then why not stop on by? Just make sure to speak to the ox horn before entering. You know, I still don't understand why they would name a town after a 200-year-old dead guy who used to tell stories. But hey, if talking makes you famous, then here's hoping I get a town real soon. Whoa, that was a lot of news. Uh, now let's listen to some soothing radio commercials. Why? Because those are the only tapes that I have. <laughs> Finally, my plan to take over the soft drinks companies of the United States has come to fruition. Now for me to corrupt the youth of today, to serve the communist empire. <laughs> well, it seems we meet again, Kamikaze. Manta Man, you can't stop me now. I have become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. <laughs> That's what you think. No, it can't be. Not Nuka-Cola Quantum. That's right. Now with triple the energy of a regular Nuka-Cola, I can fight crime for longer. Take that! Impossible! My plan was flawless! You should remember, Kami. Communism can never win. Remember, kids, be a true unstoppable with new Nuka-Cola Quantum, sold in all good American retailers. That was Shaboom by the Crew Cuts. I remember when I heard Shaboom for the first time. But back then, that was by the Nukes. That was a pre-war joke for all you people out there. You're listening to Radioactive. The Sea of Battles number one radio station. Today's broadcast is sponsored as always by Wasteland Currency. Remember, one man's crap is another man's treasure. You know, I usually get asked, Hey Zeus, why is the Sea of Battle known the way it is? And well, kiddos, the story is quite a tale, so listen up. Two hundred years ago, before the bombs dropped, the world was a rather different place. 
You see? Shut up, shut up, shut up! Well, somebody woke up on the wrong side of the death claw. Where are you anyway, you want that freak? All I see is this damn intercom. God, don't you ever shut up? All you do is keep talking and talking, and it's driving me nuts. Well, I'm sorry to burst your bubble, but that's kind of what I do here. Yeah, well, I wish you wouldn't. All day, non-stop. I just keep hearing your damn voice every second of every day. And I can't stand it anymore. The boss keeps telling me it's just the radio. Enjoy it. But I can't. All I keep thinking of is bashing your head in with my foot then I have to listen to another damn word come out of your mouth. Hey, buddy, who's your boss? What, what does that matter? It's got nothing to do with what I'm saying. I know. I just didn't know whether you'd like to do a quick shout-out before we continue this riveting discussion. Wait, is this live? Well, I hope so. Uh, yeah, okay, um... I'd like to shout-out to Trip Diamond and, and the boys down at the Metro East Station. Oh, and, and can I say hi to Dangerous Cliff and Matt Curtis, too? Man, those guys are going to be so pumped that I got on the radio, huh? Oh, I bet they're so jealous that, uh, what's your name? Oh, I I'm Scotty Black Eyes. You know, you should look at getting some name tags for your crew. Hey, Trip, have you ever thought about looking into that? At least then, Wastelanders will know who's the lucky raider shooting at them for the day. I know, right? I mean, God, it's so frustrating that we got such cool names but can never use them. Well, maybe you should head on back and see what the boys have to say about you being on the radio. Hey, maybe you might get a promotion. As I always say, any publicity is good publicity. Well, I kind of can't go back just yet. I kind of promised the guys that I was going to bring your zombie head back as a kind of trophy. So, I hope you don't mind me asking, but I'm going to have to come meet you face to face and remove your head. I mean, you seem like a pretty cool guy and all, but if I could just kill you, then I'll be on my way. Ah, uh, gee. Where are my manners? Of course, sure. Just let me unlock the door for you. It's just down the stairs on the right. You know, I, I kind of feel bad I have to do this now. Ah, uh, don't mention it. Hell, 200 years is a long time for someone to be alive anyway. Come on, kid. Let's meet the maker. Ah, oh, gee, this is going to look so cool with all my skulls. where I keep Moira. Remember, kids, stay off the jet, or you could end up like Scotty No Eyes over there. Oh God, it's going for my eyes! It's going for my eyes! Well, folks, will I go loot this fresh corpse, I'll leave you with some pre-war commercials. And this song, Jukebox Saturday Night. Keep on listening to Zeus on Radioactive. Seattle. Are you prepared for the future? Have you yet secured your family's safety? If not, then where will you be when the bombs hit? Remember, you still have time to secure your family's future with one of vault -Tec's secure underground vaults. Here's something interesting. Did you know that vault -Tec have recently opened an underwater vault right here in Seattle? Now you can enjoy the view of the cool car motion blue as nuclear winter flies right over you. Vaults in space is a few in numbers, so make sure to book your space inside one of your local vaults today. Speak to a representative to see how you can secure your family's future. vault -Tec. Sign up now and prepare for the future. Uh, junk. Junk. More junk. Ooh, 35 caps. Such a generous donation. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Aha! Ladies and gentlemen, today's prize giveaway is this one-of-a-kind rusty spoon. So, if any of you out there in the wastes are looking for a rusty old spoon, come on down to the station and collect your prize. Well, kiddos, it's that time again for the news. If any of you out there in the wastes are looking to make some good caps, then the McMurphy family caravan are looking for some hired help. Speak to Dom at Allenstown for more details. No questions asked. 
a missing persons poster has been floating around recently. Joyce Meadows is looking for her husband, Walter. He's a vault hunter who's been missing for several weeks after failing to return after exploring one of the local vaults. She's offering a reward for his safe return. Hey, maybe she should look over in Vault 71. I'm sure the girls might know a thing or two if you catch my meaning. <laughs> Why they thought it was a good idea to fill the vault with a couple of, uh, <laughs> adult items, I'll never know. Now in spooky news, strange reports have been coming from all over the wastes of a strange group of travelers that have been migrating through the Sea of Adel. No one knows exactly who these people are or what exactly it is they want. But people say they travel in the dead of night, and if anyone goes looking for them, they never come back. Last known sightings of this group have been reported to be by the Dunwich Kingdom Hospital. But who truly knows? People could just be jumping at shadows. You're listening to Radioactive with the god of radio himself, Zeus. Folks, if the radiation's getting you down, just remember... You'll probably have another 200 years of feeling miserable anyway, so why not crack a smile once in a while? Or laugh along with our next bit of music, the Woody Woodpecker song. Live from the Galaxy News Radio Station in the Sea of Adel, this is Radioactive. All right, folks of the Wastes, have I got a treat for you. We have a few celebrities that have arrived today. So, without further ado, it gives me great honor to introduce the Sea of Adels first ever national football team. Welcome to the show. Where is Puny Ghoul? We come to kill Ghoul, not Magic Talkie Box. So, welcome to the show. I hope we can have a nice civil talk. <laughs> Talking is for puny humans. We are super mutant, and we kill puny humans. I see. Clearly you've taken some hits to the head over your time of playing football. <laughs> super mutant head stronger than rock. Ghoul's head weak like... Like ghoul. Zeus can't come to the phone right now. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Talkie box makes super mutants angry. Super mutants head hurt. Warning. You are in direct violation of U.S. law. Please refrain from causing any damage to United States property or lethal force will be used. Uh, stop talking, Talkie Box! Super Mutant destroyed both Ghoul and Talkie Box! You have ten seconds to vacate the area before lethal force is used. Someday. Well, kiddos, that's all we got time for today. But as always, join me next time for some more radioactive. Now, how the hell am I going to move those bodies? Mm -hmm.